Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review. Here today we have ourselves a retro diecast. We are going back in time to the year 2017 to review Kyle Busch and his 2017 Skittles Sweet Heat. Toyota Camry number 18 for Joe Gibbs Racing. This is a car that I have been looking for forever. I've been collecting Kyle Busch diecasts for a long time because he's gotten many paint schemes and because I had a diecast series, I had to run a lot of his different paint schemes. So it was a really fun time when Kyle Busch was at Joe Gibbs Racing because we had so many great candy themed paint schemes. And this 2017 Camry right here has been on my Kyle Busch bucket list for the longest time. I've talked about this car before. And it's finally going to be here in the studio, ready for a review. Was really looking forward to getting this car. This was in the B58 stall at an antique store in North Carolina, or an antique museum almost. Pretty cool. It's called Main Street is where I got this car. And they had several Gold Series cars from a couple of years ago. And at the minute that I saw this die cast, I went and I picked it up. Because this right here has got to be one of my favorite Kyle Busch die casts. And my favorite Kyle Busch paint scheme of all time. So without further ado, let's get this die cast out of the box. Man, it feels so good. I've been looking for this car for so many years. And I finally have it in my collection. So without further ado, here is the beautiful die cast out of the box. The Skittles Sweet Heat Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. What a cool looking paint scheme. And if you guys don't have this die cast today, you are going to see the appeal of why this car is so favored, in my opinion. It is a really, really cool paint scheme. It's basically black, a gloss black, with the Skittles livery on this thing. The standard Skittles livery with a few more sweet heat details added to it. It's a very cool car. And this car, I recall running the Phoenix Playoff race. It may have run a couple other, a couple other races as well, but... This one right here, this paint scheme's got to be my favorite Skittles livery ever. And I know I said that about the Skittles dips car, but man, this is truly the Kyle Busch die cast I have been looking for for a while, and we finally have it in the collection. So you got number 18, Toyota Camry, Joe Gibbs Racing. You have Sweet Heat, fruity flavors with a spicy kick. Of course, you have Skittles on the hood with the rainbow. Then you're going to have some more contingency sponsors. You have Moog, Mal, Comp, Edelbrock, and Sunoco. You have the yellow Goodyear logo with the yellow Goodyear rolling wheels. You have mechanics who are Mobile One, Sherwin-Williams, 3M, k and Lincoln Welders, Flowmaster, and IR. You have NASCAR race car number 18, Kyle Busch, Kyle Busch and his signature. His handwritten signature, not the Rowdy logo. Of course, we got number 18, and if the camera can focus in on the contingency sponsors, we have Toyota, J.D. Gibbs, Snickers, Milky Way, or Joe Gibbs Racing, because this was before J.D. passed away in 2019. Of course, you have Skittles, Milky Way, Snick, uh, I almost said Snickers. It was Snickers, Milky Way, Skittles, Pedigree, and I can never read the last uh, logo on this car. It's another logo under Pedigree, but that looks to be a different sponsor I haven't seen before. On the quarter panel, we have Interstate Battery, Cessna, Mac Tools, Doosan, Frightliner, Sherwin-Williams, that circle logo that I can't read, Lincoln Welders, and Siemens. Of course, you have Skittles, Stanley, and Interstate Batteries. On the back of this thing, you're going to have the rearview camera, Toyota Camry, XSE, Got the Spicy Skittles logo and Jewel Osco, which is presumably a gas station or a mini store you can buy these Skittles from. And of course, Toyota on the back. Got Sweet Heat and Skittles on the deck lid. Kyle Busch on the back window banner and Sweet Heat on the roof of this car. And the number 18 on the top. So, without further ado, it's time for the paint scheme. So they spray painted this thing a base coat of black. And it's not a matte black, although the matte black would have been cool, the gloss matches the other Skittle schemes, so that's why this thing was painted black um, as the base coat on this car. So for the number, you have a red outline that's really thin, got a thin black outline and a white number fill-in for the number 18 on the top and both sides of this car. All sides of the car are going to look like this for the number 18. So it starts out as the standard Skittles paint scheme. So you have the 
rainbow on the hood, which is purple, light blue, light green, yellow, a bit of orange, and some red. And that rainbow swoops across the hood, and it also swoops across the side where it usually does on the normal Skittles car. But now we're going to have some more details. Let's talk about the things they added. First off, you're going to notice that for the Skittles colors, so anywhere you have Skittles on this car, mainly on the hood, particularly on the hood, you got some new colors. You have, instead of the normal colored Skittles, you're going to have fiery colors, which be red, orange, yellow, and of course brighter oranges and light red colors. Basically like lava and fire colors to match the sweet heat because remember this is you got fruity Skittles candies But they also have a spicy kick to them as the slogan suggests um, But let's get on to the details they added to the Skittles paint scheme So of course you're gonna have some flames on the front of this car the front corners are gonna have some flames on there They're gonna have a bit of a blue outline Sort of that's what it looks to be and then you're gonna have a gradient fade from the black to brown, to orange, to bright orange, to yellow, at the very tip of the flames wrapping around the lower front fascia OEM details. And in between the rainbow, you're going to have some flames. They're going to be some red, black, and gradient um, flames uh, around or inside within the rainbow, which is really cool to represent that it's Skittles, but it's going to be spicy. So you have the rainbow in the same spot that it usually is. Of course, you got the American National logo. You're going to have some flames on the quarter panel and flames on the rear roof pillars, which look really cool. Those flames are definitely there. It could be hard to see, but when you get really close to it, it stands out that there are flames wrapping around that rear quarter window. And of course, you're going to have the rear quarter panels covered up with the same color flames. The brown, the blackish brown fading into the lighter orange to the a more red orange and then it's going to fade to the yellow at the very end, the very tip of the flame. But nonetheless, you have a rear quarter panel uh, flame on the quarter panel, which is nice. And then some of the flames are going to continue on to the back. So you got one, two, three, four little specks of flame, spikes of flame in the back to round out this beautiful paint scheme for Kyle Busch and just black on the deck lid. So basically, it's going to be the normal red Skittle scheme, but in black with some flame details. I really love this paint scheme. This is honestly one of my most desirable Kyle Busch cars in my collection. It's definitely one of my favorites. And now that Kyle Busch is no longer with Joe Gibbs Racing and Mars Chocolate, now that he's driving for RCR, these Joe Gibbs Racing Camrys are going to go up in value for Kyle Busch because these paint schemes were always the most iconic. And I got to say... Of all the 2017s, if not all the Skittles cars to ever be made, this is definitely my favorite one. The Skittles Sweet Heat. So it's got a nice mix of rainbow and flames, and it's black. You truly cannot ask for better than this if you're a Kyle Busch fan. So here's the front of the car. I know the, the headlights and the grill looks a little bit wonky jaw, but that's just the way 2017 was with decal quality. Here's the front of this car. Here's the hood. Here's the right side of this thing, which is fairly simple, other than, of course, the rainbow and the flames. Still a beautiful, good-looking car. Of course, got some little decal slice there and just overwrap, but a little X-Acto knife could fix that. What would have been cool is maybe paint these rims like red or something or orange. That would have been pretty cool for this car. Here's the back. Here's the deck lid. Here's the roof. Here's the left side. Both the left and right side look to be the same. And here's the chassis of the car. And that, my friends, has been Kyle Busch's 2017 Skittles Sweet Heat. Fruity flavors with a spicy kick. Toyota Camry XSE for Joe Gibbs Racing. A beautiful looking number 18. Uh, Mars brand Toyota Camry. I love this Skittles car. Now, the way you're going to be able to find this car is A, the way I found it at a die cast, a retro die cast dealer, or B, you could probably still find this on Circle B die cast. I really hope there are still ways to get this scheme because I really do recommend it. It is a beautiful, beautiful car. Like I said, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, Kyle Busch cars that I have in my collection because think about it. It's black as the base coat is gonna, which is gonna make the color stand out 
that much more. So you got a black, a gloss black backdrop. Then you're of course going to have the rainbow of the normal Skittles car with the Skittles on there, which is really cool. They're going to have the rainbows and you're going to have some flames. I mean, that's a really cool combination to make a great, interesting die cast and a an in great and interesting paint scheme. So that is why I really, really like this car a lot. And it was cool to see this run. I remember this car running in the playoffs, but thankfully this die cast is just the standard looking uh, no playoff logos, which is great. I love that. It's just a standardized car. And anyways, maybe this car did run a few other races in 2017. This seemed to, be, seemed to be one of the new products back then from Mars and Wrigley's, which is really cool. I love the look of this thing. This is one of the most fantastic Kyle Busch cars now in my collection to date. So thank you all for checking out this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review or the next video on the channel. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts.